This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1504. Health at Home, by Catherine of commonsenseliving.ca. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there, with permission from the websites, of course. And don't forget, we have a bunch of shows where we narrate articles for you, just like this podcast. Just search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this to find all of them. And with that, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Health at Home by Catherine of commonsenseliving.ca Times like these give us perspective into just how important our health is, including physical, mental, and emotional health. Although all facets of your health should always take precedence in your life, we now have the time to address and do any activities we were previously putting off. Ironically, you don't need a gym or personal trainer to help you do that. Physical health. At-home workouts are a great way to get your body moving, even if you're in your pajamas all day. Albeit, you might have to wash your pajamas if you get especially sweaty, but the shower isn't far away either. You can choose from a range of activities such as yoga, Pilates, Strength exercises focused on certain parts of the body like abs, arms, and shoulders. You can also choose to go into high-intensity territory to try out high-intensity interval training or HIT. You could try circuit training or Tabata. All of these activities help you move your body as well as helping with strength, flexibility, and just an overall sense of well-being and accomplishment. You do not have to start with anything super difficult. It's important to work within your abilities. So don't push yourself too hard, too fast, or you risk injury and burnout. When I first started working out, I started with at-home exercises. When you're at home, you can do a whole lot of other things besides exercising. These activities often mean relaxing and maybe even binge watching until the sun goes down. I first started my fitness journey by doing strength exercises I found on Pinterest. In doing at-home exercises, you learn a lot about yourself, your physical limitations, your strength, and how hard you want to push yourself. It also helps build your confidence. For me, I'm always in competition with myself. If I feel I can't do all the reps, I push myself anyways. And guess what? I may be a sweaty mess at the end, but the next time I do those exercises, it will be way easier. These strength exercises made me realize I wanted more than just to move my body. I wanted to lose weight. As I stated in my previous blog post, adapt to change, you need to change something that is no longer serving you. So I slowly brought my exercise regimen into low-intensity cardio and worked my way up to high-intensity interval training, which was when I lost my 20 pounds. All this to say, your goals change over time, and you may not even know that you want something until you start doing it. So don't be afraid of at-home workouts. Do a bunch of activities at your desired intensity and there's nothing to lose, but everything to gain. Mental health. Mental health is something that's really important to take care of right now. With all the negativity and statistics we hear every day, it's normal to be inundated with feelings of fear and confusion and even anger. A good idea during this time is to write about it. I like blogging because it helps me express my thoughts on paper, or in this case, on a screen. It gives me an outlet for everything that's going on in my brain, and hopefully, allows me to help others in the process. Now, this could be different for everyone. Now, another way to voice what's going on in your head is to start journaling. Write a little bit every day about how you're feeling and even on how you can improve tomorrow. It's important to acknowledge and validate your feelings as you go and to make sure that you're also listening to yourself. Another great example is meditation. When I feel I need to calm down in times of stress, I meditate and control my breathing. To someone who has never done this before, they might think it's silly and useless. But I have found that it helps me concentrate more as well as sleep better when I have those restless nights. Creating a to-do list is also beneficial to your mental health, if that's your thing. In a world that feels like it's spiraling out of control, at least this method gives you the power to control your own life. A to-do list can include tasks as simple as brushing your teeth, taking a shower, and cooking yourself a meal. I don't know about you, but checking tasks off a list gives me a great sense of accomplishment and makes me hopeful for the days ahead. Plus, it helps in building healthy habits that also contribute to your mental health. 
emotional health. Now, I realize that there could be some commonalities between mental and emotional health, where you should validate your emotions and acknowledge your feelings. If you feel like you're unmotivated, you can either choose to push past it or to simply listen to your body and take a day to relax. This could include indulging yourself in a bath, watching a comedy, or reading a book. In fact, your self-indulging activities can be included into every day of your life as well. Emotional health could also involve the relationships you have with others. In a time when we are so disconnected and forbidden from seeing each other, we can still speak and even see each other remotely. Something I like to do for my emotional health is make someone else feel happy. In turn, this makes me feel happy and accomplished. Ways of doing this in your own life include calling someone unexpectedly, Skyping or FaceTiming a friend or loved one to ask how they are doing, or even send a letter to someone. You could also choose to help out one of your elderly relatives who might be unable to get groceries on their own. Something I'm looking forward to this week is delivering groceries to my grandparents. They have both taken such good care of me that I want to give back. I might not be able to hug them, but a gesture such as that makes them feel appreciated and loved. In the end, it's not so much what you choose to do, but how you choose to do it. Define what facet of your health you want to take care of today, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, and focus on that. You don't need to take care of all three in the same day. Create a goal for yourself for the future, or just in the moment, and fulfill it. And listen to your body and do what makes you happy most of all. You just listened to the post titled Health at Home by Catherine of commonsenseliving.ca. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Catherine mentioned something really important about happiness. They said, making someone else feel happy can, in turn, make you feel happy. In fact, scientists that specialize in studying happiness have found this true for most of us. When we brighten someone else's day, this, in turn, makes us feel better. Dr. Martin Seligman is considered one of the pioneers of a branch of psychology called positive psychology. He wrote a book called Authentic Happiness, and in it, he describes what researchers have found to be helpful for improving happiness in one's life. He found that one of the most powerful behaviors to help increase our own happiness is, can you guess? Serving others. Renowned stress researcher Dr. Robert Zapolsky and happiness expert Dr. Sean Acor have also found similar results in their research. And as I talk about this, one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite books, Tuesdays with Maury, came to mind. And you know what? Since I didn't share an inspirational quote with you on yesterday's podcast like I normally do, I feel I owe you one. So I'm gonna leave you with this quote from Tuesdays with Maury. Quote, the way you get meaning into your life is to devote yourself to loving others and to devote yourself to your community around you. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being here and I'll be back tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A. So stay tuned for that where your optimal life awaits.